How's it going, everyone? Maryland here. How you doing? Hopefully good. I'm doing all right. I've been busy today, though, but it is time to play some Animal Crossing New Leaf. Oh, yeah, that is right. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look at what is going on in Benchton tonight. That is going to be good. Oh, man. So I have a confession, and I feel terrible about it. I'm still scratching my head trying to figure out how that even happened. So I had a visit from Mr. Rossetti. <laughs> um, I don't think it will appear over here. Yeah. So I was playing as quiet this morning because, you know, I do that. I like to check, like, turnip prices and stuff, even though I forgot to check this morning, like early morning. Um, I was rearranging some of the flowers. You may notice that now I have a lot less of the black roses over here, as well as less red roses. Well, you know what? I just wanted to make a little bit of room. I didn't get rid of them, um, but I just relocated them actually right over here. So let's see. Yeah, see, here's all those red roses. I don't know which are hybrid, which are not, but hopefully we'll find out. Then I have some black roses. Yeah, I moved some over here because it's taken up a lot of room. So I moved them, right? And I know I saved. I, if I didn't save, I certainly didn't just turn the power off. But for some reason, the power turned off. So I don't know what that's all about, but I... I flipped it on and saw that the power was off, and then Mr. Rossetti was like, he was giving me the whole spiel, so I don't know, that was really weird, but whatever, um, I, you know, it doesn't cause any lasting damage or anything, it just was inconvenient. All I ended up losing was just flowers, like all the progress from yesterday, that's still there, <laughs> no worries, no worries, um, no worries at all, because that would have stunk, that happened before where I accidentally had a visit from Rossetti. By the way, take a look at this. We got a second blue pansy, which is wonderful. So now hopefully we can make more of those blue pansies. It's so much easier to get the, um, get the flowers if you have two of them. All right, so wanna chat? What, are you asking me if I'm trying to be a real cricket pro? No comment. <laughs> A press conference? Oh, please contact my office for those kinds of things. Oh, sorry, Cupcake, you caught me right in the middle of something. I know there's absolutely nothing like that in Benchton. I was just pretending for a laugh. Now I feel kind of dumb. <laughs> oh, you. All right. All right, Klaus. We got his picture yesterday. How cool is that? You know what else is really neat? Um, what is really awesome is... The fact that, you know what, I'm finally caught up on YouTube. So this is new, well, I mean, obviously it'd be new for everyone, but if you've been watching the series over on YouTube, you're not missing too much now. <laughs> now we are just, we're, we're live, so, you know, part 97 is up, or no, part 98. Yeah, I got 98 up this morning, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see, with all the Gladys leaving stuff, I'm wondering, how do you deal with goodbyes in real life? Something I have to deal with right now, so I'd love some advice. It's a real tough one. Um, thankfully, I, I haven't dealt with it a lot, but I have dealt with it several times, and it's always tough when, you know, good friends move away or move out or, you know, go far away or any number of things, really. But I think really the thing to understand is, well, several things. First of all, everything happens for a reason, just plain and simple. You know what? You don't know what that reason is, but maybe it'll become clear someday. I'll, I'll do this in a moment. Um, so you don't really know. You don't really know. But the other thing is, as much as it's tough on you, or is, yeah, I guess that's the right phrasing, you also have to think, okay, well, what about my friend? Is this going to be what they want? Is it a better life for them? Is it something that, you know, they're they're looking forward to? Is it something that they're not? If it's something that they're not, try to be supportive, of course, but, you know, it, it's, it's tough. It depends on the situation. There's really no universal thing. Ooh, an orange tree. Okay, yeah, let's go get her an orange. I don't think I have a perfect orange. I don't think. You know, I guess I could see about this. Let's, uh, let's actually just take a look over here. 
All right, because you know what? Quiet might possibly, possibly have a perfect orange. I'm not sure, but possibly. Also, um, <laughs> I'm watching the chat, right? And technically, asking to be a moderator is not against the rules. There's no rule about that. It's just common sense. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm just going to say that. It's just common sense. You don't just show up in a stream and be like, could I be a moderator? Like, you know, it's something that you kind of need to know someone <laughs> for because you have no idea if they're going to be good at it or bad at it or whatever. So my advice to anyone who shows up asking, can I be a mod? Please try not to do that because it comes across as very rude and that's pretty much every streamer's like last choice. Like if you're asking like that, and particularly if you're new, like if you've been around for a while, maybe that's not how I do things personally. Um, Personally, I just, uh, you know, I try to keep an eye on what's going on. Usually there's enough people in the chat that I can handle anything, but the people who I know are here, time in, time out, and they, they just go all the time um, to the streams. You know, those are the ones that I'll consider, and also the ones that have good attitudes and are you know, really mature and everything. I don't necessarily mean like age-wise, but just like their maturity level. So I have a few of them. Few, a few mods here and there. Not a lot, but at the same time, you know what? Like, so many people, they just use it as a status symbol. And I've had some bad moderators in the past, which really stinks, too. Uh, oh, wait, wait, what? Old dudes at construction sites are the coolest, aren't they? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. What? Old dudes at construction sites, man. Oh, yeah, what is that all about? Huh? I don't even know, man. Old dudes at construction sites. What is your fascination with that? The kind of manual labor they do. It makes my muscles tingle just thinking about it. Uh, what? What? Okay, so I'm kind of copying them and walking around with this shovel. Suits me, huh? <laughs> you crazy. Okay, that was random. That, that was random. That, that was random. Oh man, it's like that old dudes and kids line. You know what? I need to stop just wandering around. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just, I'm wandering around. I'm just talking. I'm, I'm like super talkative or something today, and that's so weird. Pico, you're not my watermelon band anymore. Oh well. Um, alright, let's chat. I'm just running all my errands. Okay, maybe I'm doing a little window shopping. Yeah, okay, so... Let's check out TNT Emporium. See if we can find some things to buy. You know what I'm surprised about? No one is wanting to move into Benchton right now. It's weird. Like, usually someone shows up. So, I don't know what that's all about. Let's go ahead and buy some Foidalizer here. All right. Oh, what? I don't, I don't have room. Where's my room? Oh, my goodness. Why do I have all this stuff? <laughs> okay, I guess I need to sell some of it. Please, weed. Well, I don't think there are any weeds there. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and sell some of this stuff. I know I get a little bit more money if I sell over at, um, the, the one, the place with the thing. Grape striped tea, huh? But I really don't care. Like, it's just money. Um, uh, bear costume pants. I don't need to be a bear again. I think once you've been bare once, you don't need to go bare again. <laughs> All right, let's see. I could get in trouble for that, you know. All right, I think that violates Twitch's, <laughs> Twitch's uh, rules somewhere or another. All right, there we go. Okay, let's see. Um, here we go. This is new. Go KK Rider. Okay, let's go. Let's take a listen. How does it sound? I know this is a cool song. I love it. This is one of my favorite songs from Animal Crossing. It's just, it's so dynamic. I, I don't know what it is about it. I just love it. It's like... Oh, yeah. I need to get an orange. That's right. I totally forgot about that. Um, 
Whoa, what is this? This looks like a... Oh, it's a drum. <laughs> I thought it was a keg. I'm like, what is this doing here? Uh, no, I, I don't need that. I really don't. Uh, what is this? Is this a, a pickle jar? <laughs> okay, you know what? I have to buy. I have to buy that pickle jar. Alright, let's, let's buy it. It just looks so silly. <laughs> the pickle jar. Alright, so shiny. Okay, um, I don't think there's anything else up here. I'm really waiting for it to restock some other things. Like, I have all this stuff here, but I don't really need it. <laughs> Look at this. The black veil. Can I try it on? <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't need to wear this. It's fine. This is kind of neat, though. Um, yeah, I look old enough. I'm still wearing my purple socks. Jeez. Okay, I gotta... I actually... I kinda like them. They're silly. They're silly, but that's fine. Um, okay, let's see. I guess I should get out of here. And... I don't know what it is. It just... It feels like today is just... It's lasting forever. I really don't know why. But... It just, it seems like it, you know? And it's strange. Like, I feel like I've already done everything in Animal Crossing today, except get Pinky her orange. So, I don't know. It must have been Mr. Rossetti. It just, it feels like he's resetting my stream right now. And it's, it's kind of weird, but, oh well, it's fine. Okay, so, I don't need any of those clothes. Are there any cool hats or anything I can find over here? Um, no, there really aren't. There's a bicycle helmet. There's these brown glasses, but I like my old man glasses. They look wise. They look wise beyond their years. Um, so I guess I don't need that. Pico, you make me so sad. Oh, man. I mean, yeah. It was inevitable. It had to happen someday, but... Uh. Ooh, look at these brown socks, though. These are what I need. I need me some star tights. Let me try these bad boys on. <laughs> oh, yeah, they go all the way up the leg. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And no, I didn't visit Red's tent. That's what I'm forgetting. Oh, yeah, I can see the stars now. I can see the stars. And you know what? That's great. It's like, um, it's, it's just wonderful. So, let's see. I guess that does that for right now. Um, do, 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 Hmm, um, yeah, so, Red. Alright, I'm gonna go to Red's tent, and I want to figure out what I want to get. Well, oh, hey, what's going on, Hopper? How are you doing? Yo, cool guy, you're looking good, feeling it? Oh, for the love of... I said it again. So, uh, I never noticed it until Klaus mentioned it a while back, but apparently I say feeling it kind of a lot, like, way too much. What do you think? Is it annoying? Should I try something else? Well, you pretty much stole Klaus's catchphrase. So, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, though. I mean, I don't mind it. I think it's actually kind of... <laughs> Well, I love the option! <laughs> Look at that! I have to tell him this. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> That's the best option ever. I love it. All right, all right, let's go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, if you say so, I'll just keep on riding this crazy feeling it train for a while. <laughs> yes, that, that feeling it train. Yeah, I really shouldn't get tripped up on stuff like that. That's not me. <laughs> I feel better now. <laughs> oh, Hopper. Keep on keeping on, why don't you? Okay, so, Red's Tent. Here's the rules. I don't want spoilers, because I do this, you know, without looking stuff up. Um, or at least, like, the, the spoilery guides and things. But I, I just want to, you know, nothing in the chat. Just, if I make a mistake, I make a mistake. That's how it goes. And you know what? That's, it's kind of interesting, because, you know, it's a lot of trial and error here. But that's okay. That, that makes it work. Oh, the Mona Lisa. Now, okay, I'm not going to lie. I did look this one up, but not on any spoiler guides, but 
obviously I know this is the Mona Lisa. I'm not an art expert by any means, but I think probably most of us have seen this. So, yeah, um, <laughs> this one I know is fake, and the reason is that hand. Yeah, I looked at the real Mona Lisa, and it's her, well, I guess her right hand is the one that's supposed to be, like, kind of reached over instead of her left hand there. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's, that's one way to tell. Like, if you know any of these art pieces, you can oftentimes figure it out, which is cool. Which is cool. Um, okay, so let's see. What other things are there here? Um, I don't really even know. This. What is this? Whoa, I see you've got your eyes. Only for that jolly painting there. I'd say it has eyes for you, too. I must say, that's quite amazing. Um, you know what? I really don't know which of these they are. So, like, one of them's fake, one of them's not, or all of them probably aren't, other than one, but I don't know. I, I guess I'm gonna go with that. And no, like, okay, I see people in the chat. I'm gonna go for this. I see people in the chat like, oh, there's a link online, there's a link, oh, you can just look it up. I just got done saying that I'm not doing that. So, like, if you want to, by all means, go for it. But I just got done saying no spoilers. Now thankfully no one gave spoilers as to whether or not I'm right or wrong. We'll find out tomorrow, which will be neat, to see if I made the right choice. But I like to do it just with my own wits, rather than like, oh, I'm gonna look this up. At least for right now. You know what? I may decide to change that later on, because it gets to be very monotonous trying to complete that whole museum thing. And yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's never any fun. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. What else is going on? I gotta get an orange. Uh, my home is so stuck in the past and I can't stand my interior design. My pine chair could be replaced, but I have to swap it out. Okay, well, let's see what else um, I can do. So, oh, you want a pickle jar? You want a pickle jar? I'll give you a pickle jar. Alright, you likey? You likey the pickle jar? Might be too small. <laughs> Check out my beautiful new pickle jar. Totally perfect, cool guy. <laughs> All right. Here's a thank you gift. It's a red corner. Thanks so much. Oh, yeah, sure. Red corner. <laughs> That's so weird. All right. Um, them pickles, though. Them pickles. So I need to find an orange, and I don't think I got a perfect orange, unfortunately. I think I do. Should I go for a perfect orange? I think I have one in quiet storage somewhere. I don't know. Let me know if you think I should just switch to quiet quick, try to get that perfect orange, drop it on the ground, switch back, and then give Pinky the perfect orange, because she would really like that, but it might not be necessary. How's it ain't Welcome to my home, cow pie. <laughs> All right, uh, I saw a picture of this beautiful pill bug and now I'm completely obsessed. I know it's a pretty common insect, but that doesn't make it any less, any less special to me. Oh, sure, let's go get, let's go get a pill bug for her. I think she would appreciate that. We can do that while we think uh, what on earth I should do about that orange, because I do need an orange can't think of anything that rhymes with orange. <laughs> There's probably a good reason for that. Um, but I can definitely go get a pill bug, so let's see. Wait, where's my net? Do I... Okay, here it is. Let me just switch this around. There we go. Okay, so let's try hit a rock over here. Nope, too big! <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's try this one out. I also have not found my money slash gem rock, so maybe we can find one. Well, there's no pill bug or no money or no gems. What a ripoff! That's just the worst! Alright, well, that's fine. Um, Alright, here we go. We're, we're gonna try this guy out. 
actually, I, I guess I technically don't know if it's a guy. All right, it's money, that much I know, but. All right, here we go. We're getting some moolah. Nice, you got it all. All right, well, hey, you know what? I like money. It's fine. I don't like having to pick it up, though. That's what I hate about it. It's like, it takes so much time just to pick up all this money, and it's just inconvenient, you know? I got so much stuff in my pockets anyway that I don't really need money in my pockets. I got, I got enough money. I just, <laughs> I don't even know. I need to use this fertilizer too. What? How on earth? Oh, I didn't put my, I didn't put my coin away? Why didn't I put my coin away? That's so smart. Okay, there we go. And there was no pill bug. What a bummer. Wait, why did I just drop a coin on the ground? There must be a reason for that. No, I actually don't think it was. I think I just wanted to eat the coin. Just hungry. Hungry for some money. Hungry for some money. All right, so at least I don't have to worry about that. We can just go find a pill bug and go catch that. Because we're awesome. Where is the pill bug? Oh, get out of here, you dung beetle. I mean, you're literally a dung beetle. Oh, wait. You know what? I thought I saw... Ha <laughs> ha! All right, we got to eat this mushroom. This is like the best. This is the best. Are you ready for it, guys? Are you ready for it? Grow big and strong. Oh, my goodness! All right, there we go. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. It's so much fun. Oh, uh, you can only do that with the famous mushrooms. But <laughs> it's great. Okay, um, where are the other rocks? I need to find that stinking pill bug. It's not even a stink bug. Ah. Oh man, can you guys please stop talking about shorts? My goodness, like, if there's one thing I can't wear right now, it is shorts. Ooh, gold, nice. And you know why? It's because it is really, really cold. It's like 7 degrees Fahrenheit, which, uh, what was that? Like, 14 below... Celsius, something like that. It's like ridiculously cold. And it's only going to get colder too. That's the problem. It's going to get really cold. It's going to get down to like 14 below Fahrenheit, which I think is like 21 or 22 degrees below zero Celsius. So, I mean, that's like, that's ridiculous. That's insane. That's what that is. So, yeah, I don't even know. Um, I can't find a pill bug though. Where on earth are those pill bugs? That is really driving me crazy. That's what it's doing. So, hmm. I guess I should probably, well, let's try this one again. Oh, there we go. Oops. Hey, don't get away. Don't get away from me. Oh. <laughs> I got it. There we go. There we go. All right, got me a pill bug. I don't know. It seems nice to me. Hmm. Oh my goodness, 16 below Celsius there too. That's crazy. Yeah, you know exactly how cold it is then. It's more or less the same then over here. Oh man, 23 below Celsius with wind chill. Oh, that's with wind chill. Yeah, with wind chill right now, it's about that much here. So, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Um, okay, so... Let's see, I guess, you know what, I might as well go ahead and get that perfect orange. But let's give this bug here first. I gotta put some of my stuff away. Oh man, alright, so here you go, have your pill bug. Probably gonna be a shirt, just watch. <laughs> it's a rocking horse. <laughs> alright, thanks. That horse really rocks, man. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, let's just do this really quick because, you know what, villagers always like it when you give them, um, you know, perfect things. It makes them happier. And I think I have one around it anyway, so we'll do that. We'll do that. How do I find those cool mushrooms? So, yeah, the cool mushrooms, you just need to chop down some trees but leave the stumps there. And then every now and every now and then some mushrooms will spawn by the uh, by the stump. So that's pretty cool. You can also find a ton of mushrooms in November. All right, so let's load up quiet. 
I have, well, okay, I played with her in the morning because I always sign on, you know, before the stream and everything. And not like right before the stream, like in the morning, you know, I check turnip prices, I water some flowers, you know, the kind of boring things that it's just not really, um, you know, not really worth showing on the stream, even though I do plenty of boring things on the stream. Uh, yeah, she's looking sharp. She's looking all festive. I really like the change. Oh, I could totally get another another thing, huh? Well, I'm not going to bother. I'll do that later. Wait, why am I going over here? Oh, I know why, because I'm going to have to run somewhere anyway, so I might as well just look in here. Ooh, unless, you know what? I'm thinking about it and thinking about it. Maybe it's in the house somewhere. I have to take a look. Um, I'm pretty sure I had it in... No, I did not. I have an awful lot of money, though. My goodness. <laughs> Quiet. You've been, you've been making some money. So where do I have this perfect orange? I don't even know. I thought I had one. Maybe I just dropped it on the floor somewhere. I don't even know. Um... Why does Quiet have the golden can? I actually, I decided to give Quiet the golden can for the reasons I kind of mentioned earlier. It's like, you know, sometimes watering the flowers in the morning, I just remember it more and it gets kind of boring watering all my flowers on stream. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna, just gonna water them, um, you know, off camera. And I've been trying to do that every day too. You know what? That couch looks like a gigantic orange <laughs> that's what it looks like that it does i tell you maybe i have it in one of these rooms her house is almost completely built like i just have to upgrade the basement Ooh, you know what let's let's switch things up i think it's bunny time i think it's bunny time <laughs> all right so we're gonna have quiet dressed up like a bunny except i need white shoes but oh well <laughs> All right, take off your shades there. There we go. All right, just a just a change of pace. I also have the cat suit over here, which is kind of funny. All right, but I haven't actually dressed up as this, so I guess I'll do that for a bit. Okay, but I know I have a perfect orange somewhere. At least I thought I did. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. I have a lot of random stuff. I have cheese walls. <laughs> Cheesy. All right, what about over here? Maybe I just didn't. Oh, what what we got? I got a whole bunch of stuff. But I don't seem to see the, the other thing. <laughs> that stinks. Oh, man. Did I? You know what? I might have used it up. Might have used it up, actually, and thinking about it, that, yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Oh, man, it is possible. Oh, let's see. What is my favorite vegetable? I don't really know. Um, I'm trying to think. I know that there's quite a few that I really like. I mean, I like... Uh, I'm trying to think. I do like vegetables. Sometimes. <laughs> Um, of course, I'm just, I'm thinking like fruit right now, like, ah, oh, kiwi, I love kiwi. Um, I don't know, like, I guess I like soybeans or edamame, that's really good. Um, I like sugar peas, sugar snap ones, they're delicious. Okay, so I don't think I have this, um... Have it is awkward. I'll look on awkward for just a moment here. Kale. Duh! Kale! I love kale. Wow, I'm so derping. <laughs> yep, kale. I, I totally forgot about that. I like a lot of the greens like that. Um, you know, turnip greens, they're really good. I like um, mustard greens a lot too. But I really do like kale cooked with some stuff. You cook it down with some oil and stuff, you know, like uh, olive oil or, or um, what's the other kind? Grapeseed oil is really good with it. 
But yeah, that's good. Ooh, zucchini. That's also really nice too. I like um, cucumbers a lot as well. They're just so fresh, you know? That, oh, it's just really good. You know, maybe I don't have the orange. I, I must not. I have it! Oh, you've been hiding it, Awkward. I knew it. All right, Awkward has the orange. <laughs> okay, Awkward, we're going to have you make a little donation here. I knew I saw that orange. I just couldn't remember where it was. I also finally got this hat over for Awkward. It's about the closest match to the, the kind of trainer cap that the, um, that the trainer in Heart Gold, not Heart Gold, Black and White wears. The male trainer, so that's pretty cool. All right, let's put this on the ground. We're gonna put it right there. And I, Lucy, I'm too awkward to talk to you. <laughs> All right, let's. Aw, <laughs> just like looking around. Okay, finally we have spotted that perfect orange. <laughs> awkward. That's pretty funny. All right, let's go ahead and continue where we left off. And then I have to go. I really do. I need some dinner. That's what I need. But I'll get some dinner in just a moment. Right now, i got to get that perfect orange. Oh, man, now I'm hungry for some kale. <laughs> oh, well. All right, let's see. I can't believe that today is day 99. Um, so I know this is, like, super late into the stream to be talking about, but, yeah, day 99. Now, I have been playing longer than that. I've been playing since August 25th. I think we even talked about that in the last episode. Hi, Pico. Um, but I have had 99 days worth of videos, which is really neat. So tomorrow will be day 100, which is going to be awesome. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do anything special or fancy for it. I don't really think I need to. But I do figure, hey, you know what? It's still pretty cool to do that. I think I'm going to ditch the whole part A thing from the, um, from my, like, YouTube videos and stuff. I'll just have it be, like, day 100. Because I haven't really been doing that. I like the 30-minute version. I think it just, you know, it's much better. <laughs> Sweet, happy, yum, yum, yummers. <laughs> Wait, yum, yums, yummers. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was so worth it. That was so worth it. Um, uh, all right, let's see. Mmm, that's the most delicious, perfect orange ever. Uh, please take a coconut palm and thanks. Oh, thanks. Coconut palm. Really need some coconuts. Oh, man, now I'm thinking of coconuts. <laughs> all right, um, I gotta stop. That's not, that's like an item, right? Yeah. Gold nugget. And all this fertilizer, too. My goodness. My goodness. All right. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next episode, the 100th day of Maryland's Animal Crossing New Leaf Benchton Adventures. Oh yeah. See you next time, everyone. <laughs>